Jackie, how are you feeling with all of the trade tensions out there and the sort of rocky way we ended the month of June? Yeah, it, it, it has been a little bit rocky. Uh, there's just a lot of unknowns right now. You know, with the trade wars, you hear something different every day, it seems. But honestly, this first part of the year has ended a lot better than I thought it would. So I'm actually feeling pretty good as we go into the uh, second part of the year. Uh, Demond, we were just talking before the break about how Walgreens has declined this week as Amazon's entered its space. What, what do you think about the way Amazon continues to sort of uh, take on new different sectors? Can it have success well, in all of them? I'm, actually, I'm sure it can, but it puts us retail investors at a disadvantage because we're looking at the, the companies that they're eating up and, look, and they're taking it away from us. We're trying to invest in those. So Amazon, I understand what it's doing. Capitalism is great, but from my point of view, I would like them to slow down a little bit so we can get our big wet. Jackie, you said you're feeling pretty good about the second half of the year. So are you taking the opportunity to buy? This was a down week. And if so, what are you buying? I am. So I, it was a down week, and I did pick up a little bit of some stocks that I'd been watching. Uh, Adobe was probably my biggest one that I was glad to finally get in on. I think that is such an awesome long-term play. Their fundamentals are, are great, and they just have such a wide moat for what they offer in terms of uh, their graphics design suite. So I've been bullish about that company for a long time and finally took a position in it this week. Damond, you've been uh, buying some consumer discretionary stocks recently. Yes, I bought five below a few months ago. That stock is doing wonderful. The fundamentals are good, and I also got into Crocs. Um, th their fundamentals are good, too, and their stock price, I believe, for the quarter, they beat estimates three quarters in a row. So that's great, and consumer discretionary is something I never thought I would get into, and I just happened to get into it. And when I look across the board, a lot of, a lot of the companies in that uh, market are doing very well. Jackie, you held uh, GE for a long time. You sold out of it. Uh, it. Recently announced a restructuring program, and it's given the stock a bit of a boost. Would that make you want to get back into it? No way. I held that <laughs> stock for a little bit over 10 years, and I, I, it's just been a big disappointment for me. Um, I think that they will pull it together, but I have lost confidence where I'm not comfortable holding, holding it because there's so many other places even in that sector that I can put my money where I know it's going to do a lot better and not without having to wait so long and having to see all these changes happen. So I'm out of GE. <laughs> Damon, do you factor politics at all when you think about investing? I do, and it's because every time our president tweets or makes a comment, the market reacts a little bit and sometimes a lot. But yesterday's um, stress test in the banks, because I own SunTrust, I have for three years. So to hear that the dividends are coming up and, and are going up and across the board for a lot of banks they are, that are, I'm feeling good about that. And I also like the regulations rollbacks, especially when it comes to lending and rates. I think all those are going to benefit us coming up in the um, home stretch of this year. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.